Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our playthrough as Greece in Civilization 6. We're playing on the Nintendo Switch. So that's why the UI might be different from what you expected. So we're going for a culture victory. Let's get into it. We're building our walls in every city. Walls, if you didn't know, give... So ancient walls give one tourism. Medieval walls give two tourism. And then Renaissance walls give three tourism. I believe that is how it works. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. So this guy built the walls. Let's go for an art museum over here because that thing is going to be important. Let's steal tech boosts from... Wilhelmina and then we'll chop this style Euphysis needs to work on one as well So this guy is Just gonna go and build our Granada improvement all right, so we're going to buy another naturalist in this city. So maybe we can plop this down. I think I fixed the problem. It was that not all the tiles belong to the same city. Now they do. If that doesn't fix the problem, we're going to have to remove this mine over here and build a for and plant a forest. We can't build forests, obviously. Okay, we can plant the natural park now national park sorry it's not natural it's just national yes norway i will take five gold per turn in exchange for an iter i'll give you my open borders as well would you pay me some more gold five gold is not that much but it counts so apparently my commercial hub, industrial zone, and government plaza got pillaged here. I don't know if this is another river or something. That's why it needed another dam. Too late for that now. We'll continue building the Bolshoi though. So Euphysis needs to buy a builder. And... For sure needs to work on the archaeologist. This is not going to take 25 turns, that for sure. We'll build a couple of mines and this will go much faster. If this archaeologist can finally pick that up. And if this is our second national park. We're generating 105 Tourism per turn, which is not bad. Okay, we finally unlocked urbanization. We can start placing our neighborhoods. And we'll research mass media for now. We have a builder here. And this guy is going to start building mines all over the place. We extracted our second artifact and it's Cyrus, but it's a Renaissance art era artifact. Okay, this guy can just settle in place since there is no loyalty pleasure over here. And we gained some more air score for settling on a different continent. This is prime real estate for seaside resorts, so we'll be taking advantage of this coast even more. And let's go for, let's build a Acropolis here. And we'll buy the watermill. And we'll buy the monument. And we'll buy the granary. So that way that city is all set up. We can, okay, so apparently we don't have 
Granada anymore. So this just this guy is just gonna wait for next turn. We'll apologize to Harold Hadra for settling next to him. And we're gonna work on getting suzerainty of Granada back. Okay, you don't want my archaeologist in your land? Sure. We got our hands on another great artist. This guy, however, does not give religious artwork. Let's place our neighborhood district. Why not? We'll place it over here. Is this guy's gonna build us another mine here? And that's 19 turns for the archaeologist. I would prefer to move this guy manually so that he doesn't get stuck. This guy can go to Corinth. And this guy, okay, we need one more turn to get those two envoys. To get Granada. Finally, St. Basil's Cathedral is completed and we stole a tech boost for chemistry. Okay, so what does St. Basil's Cathedral give us? It gives us 100% religious tourism from the city, plus one food, plus one production, and plus one culture on all tundra tiles from the city, and it must be adjacent to the city center. So, what this tells us is that we're gonna need to build a art museum here and maybe place a couple of works of art in it. We got another great writer, which is amazing. We finished the Renaissance walls over here. And we're gonna work on the Ferris wheel, which gives us tourism. St. Basil's Cathedral is done here. We'll work on a art museum this guy has another promotion and we'll take the counter spy promotion not bad we can get him back to our cities we'll move these out of the capital now we can Dreams. create new ones in the capital this guy is still waiting for but we don't have enough yet to get granada back if this guy is gonna go up here maybe chop a couple of chops if this guy is going this way we have an artist in Corinth and we'll start creating those great works of art all right so we got another flood in one of our cities Sparta and some of the stuff got pillaged so we're gonna need to Fix that up again. Let's repair the market. Steal some tech boosts for me. Okay, this guy is on his way down here. And Alexander is apparently losing loyalty in this city. Let's place the water park here so we can give adjacency to that theater square and we can finally take back suzerainty of Granada yes this guy's gonna build another mine here great all right we can finally build this unique improvement and archaeologist is moving along Okay, we got some error score. We unlocked industrialization. We can start building our coal power plants. We need to check if we got any coal. So let's get banking for now. Oh, we got some coal. Please tell me I can buy that. Nice. We can buy that coal. Did we get coal in our territory? We got four instances of coal, which is amazing. We built one here. This one's another one and it's improved. Wow, okay. I've never had this much coal. This guy can take 
an Alexander artifact. So this is a classical era. So each artifact we have is from a different era. That's not good for theming. But we'll try and make it work. Oh my god, another devastating flood in my capital it destroyed everything. And I can't even do anything about it. So we unlocked mass media and I really want to build the crystal redden tour. But I don't have time to build that right now. So we're going to build other things. The neighborhood can go on this tile since we already tucked it. And we'll work on the arena right now. Let's get Liang's Parks and Recreation. We need one more air score to get in Golden Age. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that or not. So we just completed a harbor in Nosos. I'm going to purchase this so we can send our trade route and then work on the Renaissance walls. And I press next turn before sending the trade route. Oh my god. So we can finally trade with the Netherlands. So I'm going to give her 20 coal and open borders for 9 gold per turn and her open borders. That's a good deal. Especially since we were capped on coal. We can start building fisheries in the city for extra food. Good. The hermitage in any case, against all odds has been completed. And that is our first neighborhood. And that's the boost for flight. The Hermitage gives us plus 3 Great Artists per return and plus 4 Great Works of Art. I thought I can plump that Great Musician in there, apparently not. So we finished building the Hermitage in our capital. We want to start repairing all of our districts. The water park is completed over here. We'll go the Ferris, with the Ferris wheel for extra tourism. First neighborhood completed and now we can build shopping malls. Apparently not yet. So we'll go for a builder in here. Okay, we finished our archaeologist in Farslaos. I guess that's how you say it. We're going to buy the shipyard, which is going to increase production. That was supposed to go into... That was supposed to go into the archaeologist. This guy's going to go down here. And we're going to work on... A water park for this... Place. Let's build the medieval walls first. We'll escape on foot. Mission failure, but the guy escaped unharmed. Let's take Mexico City and Fez again. Nice. And we'll go to the next turn. This cow arrived just in time to get these tribal villages. I was just about to buy another unit, but now I don't have to. Okay, that's our capital. We're going to buy the factory in here. And then we're going to work on building Renaissance walls. This city is going to build Renaissance walls as well. This guy can go to the Netherlands. This guy can trade with the cities that give us most gold, which is this city. This guy will also go for gold. And we'll... Okay. Before skipping to the next turn, I want to... Take this cow and get him here. And now we can go to the next turn. We're going to send this trader to 
Tarsus, which gives me 24 gold. This guy will get that tribal village. Not very useful, but it's a nice boost. This builder was supposed to... Okay, so this builder is going to fix this city up. We got a lumber mill on this side. <clears throat> we'll explore with this guy for some barbarians. And we'll get that artifact. Classical era. Let's go with Pericles. I don't think we have Pericles classical era. This guy can go to... Amsterdam and we'll go to the next turn okay we've unlocked gunpowder we have 162 culture per turn and we're gonna buy a builder over here we can't right now because the archaeologist is in the way where are we gonna send this guy we haven't sent him to Poland yet so that's where we'll go and let's buy that builder and we'll work on the arena because it's gonna give us some tourism the ferris wheel is done over here let's build a neighborhood plus five neighborhood over here that's not bad this guy can auto explore i don't want to deal with him and we'll trade for gold with brussels and we got an envoy that's amazing so this guy can get this artifact and this guy I want him to come here. We're going to fix that city up. So there is a barbarian musketman over here on a tribal village. Devastating flood in Sparta. A thousand year flood. This flood only happens once in a thousand years. Can you imagine how powerful it must have been? Okay, so we're sending this guy to die. I just want to get the village. Maybe we can send him to get the other one. Okay, so the most important thing is to repair that commercial hub. Walls are done in here. So we can, let's go for the water park. Maybe we'll build the shipyard. Probably not. Let's build the shipyard. Nothing else to do. We repair these tiles with the builder. Extract another artifact. And we'll take classical era barbarians. Nice. Nice. We can theme a classical era museum right now. Okay. So we can get one more great writer. And another great artist let's repair the market over here so we can send the trader again and what city states can we take granada is ours again beautiful we've themed an art museum in argos which is amazing we can theme an archaeological museum soon enough we're gonna create a great work of art over here and then we'll send this guy to the city this guy can go into the ocean and cross and let's repair some more of our tiles this archaeologist finally arrived to poland industrial era let's take a jadwiga artifact and we'll skip to the next turn beautiful we just got a golden age look at this plus two arrow score because we have power 
Eureka. And we have a Golden Era Modern Age. So, I think I'm going to take... Perform the Coinage. And since this is done over here... Let's repair the government plaza. Sparta should build a neighborhood for sure. We can use this use this desert tile. This great writer can create his second work of art. And this guy can start preparing this land for a national park. I'm gonna buy another builder here. So these guys can work together. And I also... Okay, we'll, we'll see if we can build. Nice, okay. We can finally send this guy for 31 gold. And this guy can come build a mine over here. Our archaeologist needs to find some more stuff to get. So I guess the best option would be her. This guy, we're going to send him through the ocean. And then finally, we let the barbarian follow this guy around. All right, so we get an extra trade route and plus four for trading with us. Extra tourism from Great Swords of Writing, which is amazing. Oh, uh, he won the two diplomatic victory points, which is sad. But other than that, we got everything. All right, so we're finally allied with... Wilhelmina, which is amazing. We need to build the Cristo Redden Tor. We'll build it here. Neighborhood is completed in Argos. We'll go for the shopping mall. And we'll work the Ferris wheel over here. This guy can come back to the city. And we'll do this. We'll send this guy here to create artwork. And this guy is going to go find some artifacts. So we bought the workshop in here. We'll work on the... I want to buy... We'll just work on the factory in the meantime. This guy can go into the city and become a skirmisher. And this guy is going around repairing all of our tiles. Okay, so we need some more artifacts. And this is how we can get them. Let's send this guy to... Let's send this guy to the Vikings capital. And we'll send this archaeologist on his way. Let's get a forest over here. And that way we can start building another national park. All right, so we skipped a couple of turns. Let's buy a trader in here. Our neighborhood is completed over here, so we'll work on the shopping mall so we can get some more tourism. We finished our Renaissance walls over here. Let's get an entertainment complex next to our theater square for that adjacency bonus
Okay, theater square complete. Acropolis, I mean, I'm sorry, I keep calling it a theater square. It's an Acropolis, I get it. We're just putting envoys so we can get the benefit from the plus gold card. We're gonna get another artifact. And this guy is gonna move here. While this guy is going to insert his great work in here. This builder. Okay, we can't move these guys. This guy can sleep on this side. Okay, apparently this tile doesn't have enough appeal. So we're going to have to remove some of those mines next turn. I just repaired all of these tiles and now they're destroyed again. Wonderful. We have two great musicians now sitting around doing nothing. This guy is gonna remove that mine. This guy is gonna sleep. This guy is gonna stay over here. And then this builder is gonna go all the way back up. All right, we finished the Ferris wheel in this city. Our, our tourism continues to grow. This guy will go over here. Let's do this. Maybe we can take over all of the city-states. That would be fun. Let's complete that industrial zone. That factory. And this guy is going to get its final artifact. This guy can... Gain sources. And then maybe we can steal something. This guy is going to remove this improvement. And this guy is going to come over here. And remove the other mine. And then hopefully we can build ourselves a national park. So we're going to build a plantation here, go to this style, remove that mine, and then go to this style and remove that mine. And hopefully next turn, we can build our national park. Okay, we're in the next turn. The factory is completed in this city. We're going to buy a coal power plant. Let's just work on the bank in the meantime. Let's build renaissance walls in Argos. Shipyard is finally complete here. Maybe we should build the Statue of Liberty in Nosos? Probably not. We can go for something else maybe. Like a spy. Or a theater square festival. A theater square festival won't be bad. This guy can come back and repair the production tiles. This guy, okay, I almost repaired that tile instead of removing it. And this guy will also remove this tile. And now, okay, we need, I think, one more turn to be able to get these tiles to good enough production uh, appeal. So we'll wait for next turn. All right, this archaeologist can pick up his last artifact wonderful this guy is gonna plant some forests over here so will this guy and now we can finally after all that hard work build that national park so that's gonna be it for this episode we're doing great we're on our way to culture victory if we visit that screen we have 38 out of 189 tourists we have 250 tourism per turn. That's not a lot at this stage. But we, we, we're increasing our tourism every turn slightly. And it will keep on increasing because we're getting more great people. Hopefully we get to win this. It looks like we're going to win it. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.